Good morning folks, Jesus Christ. Good morning, welcome along to the channel again today. We are brewing and uh, we're doing the second batch of the vacant gesture. You've just seen me clean out the tank that we brewed the stout in. The stout always gives us a huge Krausen ring on the top, so I've got rid of that. There's caustic recirculating in the tank we're going to use today, and we are in the middle of the transfer, the vol off, the runoff, the knockout, whatever you want to call it. No, the knockout's at the end of the boil, I believe. So, I've got a rep coming today from a malt company. I'm not changing malt suppliers, but he's just seemed keen to come out, so that's fine with me. Might get some money off of our hops. That's what I want from him, mosaic. But uh, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that to happen, I thought I'd charge up the pallet truck with some hydraulic oil. So to find hydraulic oil from tool station or screw fix, you basically want to buy the compressor oil. That's what they've got it under. It is hydraulic oil though, ISO 32, which is good for the job. So uh, I've never done this before. We're going to flip the pallet truck on its side and we're going to remove the reservoir plug and we're just going to top up. I'm not going to change, I'm just going to top up. Uh, the problem with this pallet truck is that every time you go halfway down uh, on the compression on the handle to lift the truck, uh, it sort of gives out halfway through. That's sort of giving me an indication that there's not enough oil in the reservoir. If that fails then we'll look at changing the seals in the future. So we'll stick it on its side, whip the plug off or out and have a look what we've got. So here is the said truck. So I have to try first to get it onto its side and then position it so the oil plug is in the air. Can you see that plug there? I think you probably just about can on the camera if I just reposition the camera slightly. How's that? 15? 15. There we go. Just needed a sharp, sharp shock. I should probably also just get rid of any muck before we carry on going any further. Don't want to drop anything into the reservoir that we don't want in there. Right, this is going to be difficult. And uh, well, let's see if we can't just freehand it in there. Nope. Gotta get some tissue while I'm at it, and I. He doesn't particularly want to just drool in there, does he? Look at that. And I don't know. It's just sitting on the surface. Right, maybe I'm doing this wrong. I don't know. Well, it would appear that uh, I'm into making YouTube videos that make me look like an idiot. Yes, we know. So I've had a look online, and basically with this pump truck, the reservoir's full. It doesn't need any more oil putting in it. The chances are, if it's not performing correctly, there's an airlock. So I'll show you how I got rid of it. Basically what you do is you pull the handle in the upright position like this and you pump. You do the full pumping action. I'm sure everybody will know about this. About 10 or 12 times. And what this does is it moves any air in the cylinder, circulates it round to the top of the cylinder. Okay, 
and then you put it into the locked position. Oh, look at that! It's just pumping. So, there we go. Might have been just a bit of air in the bottom of the cylinder, and it's been fixed. Can you see it rising up? I have the tiger. Look at that. There we go. So it's simply down to me not knowing what the frig I was doing. Again. Now this is when it's a real pleasure to brew. The pumps are off, the tanks are clean, and all we have is the boil kettle and the condenser flue, making a little bit of noise in the background. Listen. It's brilliant in here. It's quiet, it's warm for February. It's fantastic. So we've got two batches of vacant, second one going in today. Tomorrow I'm going to brew, uh, I'm going to put together a recipe for an IPA. I'll have a look what hops I've got. I might try and even aim towards a New England IPA. Either way it'll be an American IPA nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is completely create a brand new recipe and for everybody who supports me on Patreon and supports the channel, I'm going to be providing it on there for you to brew at home for, for the patrons. So if you'd like to brew this beer, head over to Patreon, get yourself signed up, and the recipe will be on there by the end of the week. So we've commenced the transfer into the boil kettle. We've had a real good whirlpool with the mosaic hops in there. It smells great. So I'm heading upstairs now whilst this beer transfers and I'm going to start the New England IPA recipe. One caveat though for this particular beer recipe, I'm only going to use the hops that I've got in stock. Now some of these uh, hops aren't necessarily, I won't use the word traditionally associated with because New England IPA is not a traditional beer style, it's a very new modern beer style. But a lot of the hops that I've got in stock uh, Pacific Gem, Ella, you know, Nelson Sorvin might not necessarily be um, associated with New England style IPAs. So we're going to play a little bit of a uh, suck it and see experiment here whilst we uh, decide exactly what hops to put into this beer recipe. So I'm going to go upstairs for the next 15 minutes and have a play, and then we'll come down and we'll wrap up. Uh, We'll wrap up the brew day, clean the kettle, get geared up for tomorrow's uh, brew and weigh out the dry ingredients at least for this brand new beer recipe. Holy shit boys, friggin rights we did. Patreon is where you're going to find this recipe. I'll give you a little sneak peek though. 500 litre batch, 6.1 ABV target. 16 grams of hops per litre. Simple base. Over 110 kilos of malt going into it though. And some of the hops are Centennial, Atanum, Cascade, Columbus, Eldorado, Ella, Pacific Gem. So there's a combo. So uh, yeah, if you want to check this out, head over to Patreon, get yourself signed up. This recipe will be available for you to download there. Trust me to pick the day that I want to get the grains out for a fantastic any IPA recipe. Stuart decides to clean the lines before we open. So yes, check this out. He's going to be in the cellar with uh, dozens of beers ready to go on the bar. Let's see if he's done it yet. Oh yes, look at all the purple. 
Purple, purple everywhere. So he's done them seven first, and then he'll do the following seven on the next run, I imagine. Good man, I'll leave the lights on for him. Let's go and have a look how much beer. Are we open? No, no, that's all right then. Let's see if we're open. I can't uh, bring the camera in. Oh, is that it? So far. He's only done the seven then? Yeah. I thought he would have had all 14 out. Well, I think oh well. I think the other ones recently got cleaned. These are the, these are the creeks, are they? Yeah. Leafman's and... Is it, have we got two of them on? No, no, it's just this. Oh, it's just two of them come out? Yeah. Fake peg. That is? Yeah. That's crystal, isn't it? And then the lagers. And then... Aspel's next. So the exciting stuff's coming out next. <laughs> I better clean up then in time to uh, to get up here for it. Oh, and it's already bloody gorgeous in the beer garden, folks. Look at this. Oh, super excited for summertime to arrive. It's still only freaking February. Can you believe it? Right, I've got a real incentive now to get this get this mash tun filled with grain, get this boil kettle cleaned, and get up there for a few pints before Gemma picks me up. And trust me, because I want to get this recipe on the Patreon page, I've asked Gemma to pick me up early. He's doing a like I get in, man. Right, let's whiz through this. That was not bad going. Whew. So, boil kettle rinsed, plate exchange rinsed, grain, most of it, apart from the wheat and the uh, oat, in the mash tun ready for tomorrow. I just need to add the yeast, take a sample, not necessarily in that order, and uh, recirculate some hot water through the boil kettle uh, to rinse off most of the crud, and then. Uh, We'll put sanitizer through it tomorrow. We'll have one last brew day, and then we'll break it down and give it a full CRP. What a day. Hey, you'll be excited to come back tomorrow though. Oh, this New England IPA, gonna be something else. Cue the cooling system. <laughs> 